हाई गाइज सलोनी दिस साइड एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कोडेरा सो दिस इज द ट्वेंटी सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ अवर एसक्यूल ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच दैट वीडियो देन प्लीज चेक आउट द वीडियो लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन सो गाइज वी ऑलरेडी नो मेजरली वी हैव दिस फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ बिल्ट इन फंक्शन सो आउट ऑफ दिस फाइव फंक्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एग्रीगेट एंड स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन सो इन टू डेज वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यूमेरिक फंक्शन एंड विद दिस वीडियो आई विल ऑल्सो शेयर द एसक्यूल प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड सो दैट यू कैन सॉल्व दोज क्वेश्चन एंड गाइज इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल टू गेट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन सो गाइज इन द न्यूमेरिक फंक्शन वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस फंक्शन so let's understand each of them one by one so our first function is absolute so this function returns the absolute or the positive value of a specific number so we just have to pass the number as parameter to this function for example this query so let's find out the absolute value for minus 35.6 so now let's execute our query so you can see in the output we have the positive value of the given number So guys using the absolute function you can get the positive value of any number Now our next numeric function is round So this function is used to round a numeric value to a specific number of a decimal place or to the nearest whole number So guys as a parameter we have to pass a numeric value or a column to be rounded and the number of decimal place to be round to and if you will not provide a decimal place then the function will round to the nearest whole number so here is one example query so let's execute this query and check the results so guys you can see in the output our value is rounded up to two decimal and what if we will not provide a decimal place so let's execute this query and see what will be our output so in the output we have the nearest whole number which is 75 so this is how round function works So now after the round function our next numeric function is seal or ceiling. So guys this function returns the smallest integer which is greater than or equal to the specific number. So basically this seal function rounds the number away from 0 and it always goes up. So to use this function we just have to pass the number as parameter to this function. For example this query. So here we are passing 35.6 as parameter. So this seal function will return a smallest integer which is greater than or equal to 35.6. So let's execute this query and see the output. So guys you can see our output is 36 which is smallest value greater than 35.6. So in this way you can use seal function or in place of seal you can also use ceiling function both will work same. So after the seal numeric function our next numeric function is floor. So the floor function returns the largest integer which is less than or equal to the specific number. So unlike seal function this function rounds a number towards 0 and it always goes down. So its syntax is also same as seal function. So let's execute our last example using floor function. So guys you can see this time our output is 35 which is the largest integer less than 35.6. So this is how seal and floor function works. So after this our next numeric function is mod. So this function is used to get the remainder or the modulus of a division operation between the two numbers. So to get the remainder we have to pass dividend and the divisor as parameter to this function. So for example this query. So here the dividend is 11 and the divisor is 3. So let's execute this query and see the results. So our output is 2 which is the correct output. So it is very easy to use the mod numeric function and it is also a very important numeric function. So now after the mod function our next numeric function is power. So this function raises a number to a specific power. So it returns the result of the exponential operation. So this is the syntax to use power function. So as parameter we need to pass a number that we want to raise to a power and then we need to pass power which is the exponent to which we want to raise the number for example this query so here the power function will raise 4 to the power of 3 
So let's execute this query and see the output. So our output is 64 which is the correct output. So in this way you can use power function. So after the power numeric function our next numeric function is sqrt which means square root. So this is clear by the name of the function that this function is used to find the square root of a number. So we only need to pass a number for which we want to find the square root. So let's pass 25 as parameter. And if we will execute this query, we will get 5 in the output, which is the square root of 25. So it is very easy to use the square root function. So now after the square root, our next numeric function is greatest. So this function returns the greatest value from the provided list of expressions or the columns. So guys, in this function, we have to pass multiple expressions. Then it will return the greatest value from the list of expressions. So for example, this query. So let's execute this query to see the output. So our output is 125, which is the correct output. Because 125 is the greatest number among all the numbers. And guys, you can also pass the column names to this function. Something like this. So here I have passed id and salary column which has numeric data type. So let's execute this query. So guys here in the output we have the greatest value from id and the salary column. As in our table all the values in id column are smaller than the salary. That's why we are getting all the values of salary as a result. So guys you can use this function to find the greatest value from the provided list. And now if you want to find the lowest number then we have a numeric function called list. So this function returns the least value from the provided list of expressions or columns. So here is the syntax to use list numeric function which is similar to the greatest numeric function. So let's execute our last query using list function. So if we execute this query then we will get all the values from the id column because all the IDs are smaller than the salary. So in this way you can use the greatest and the least function. Now our last numeric function is random. So this function returns a random number between 0 and 1. And here 0 is inclusive while 1 is not inclusive. So to get a random number we just need to use this function without any parameter. So let's execute this query. So guys, in the result, we have a random number between 0 and 1. And if you will execute this query again and again, then every time you will get a different random number. So let's execute this query one more time. So you can see this time our output is different from the previous one. So this is how you can use random numeric function. So that's all about the numeric function and if you want to practice more on numeric function then in description box you will find a pdf link for SQL practice questions. And guys in the next video we will discuss about the date and time function which are very important. So don't forget to watch that video. So guys I hope this video was informative for you. So if you found this video useful then please like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.